Any final questions? Yes, ma'am. What about global warming? Yeah. <laughs> ah, I knew it had to come. I was almost out, to, out of the room. I said, phew, another one I've escaped, the global warming question. Well, as you know, this is a huge debate, huge, huge, huge debate in science right now. Uh, and this is what I can say about the 2005 season. Any one particular storm, such as Katrina, was probably not the direct result of global warming. You cannot blame a single short-lived, relatively short-lived, isolated storm on a much larger climatic shift that takes decades to unfold and that's global in nature. But it may have provided a sufficient backdrop to perhaps intensify all of the hurricanes maybe by 5 or 10 percent, okay? Some small fraction. It's very hard to demonstrate the impact of global warming because we can't measure hurricane wind speeds accurately enough to detect that 5 or 10 percent increase that might be there. This is something you might actually be able to detect 50 or 60 years from now, okay? But there are other factors I've told you a lot about natural cycles, the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation, which is the high phase of Atlantic activity. We seem to be deep into that right now. El Nino, La Nina, those are other cycles that control hurricane activity. And also some of it's just bad luck. It's the, it's, the, it's the location of that Bermuda High. Now I don't know if global warming can influence the location of Bermuda High, um, but certainly where those storms are being steered in the past couple years certainly played a major factor in how badly the United States was impacted. So it's a very difficult question to ask. I would say the bottom line is it's possible, and if it is occurring, it's probably only a few percent increase in hurricane intensity now across the board.